Hello to all my friends out there. So we're having a little family meal. Last week it was a mumble rap football and music vi videos. I don't know what's coming up this week. We'll see. I let my son be in charge of the videos. Uh, it works out. I, I watch videos I normally uh, wouldn't watch. Okay, so I want to make some chicken. But I bought this chicken at... Sm I, I'm liking Smart and Final. You know, you you don't want to trade quality for um, a few cents, you know? Okay, so what this video is about is... And then I'm making some sweet potatoes with chipotle and lime. And some salad. Okay. This video is chatting about contamination. Okay, number one, wash your hands really good and uh, clean your fingernails all the time. You know? It will really help. And then the other th thing is is food contamination. I'm going to be going through my life. You know, you can get a little sloppy and that's not a good thing to do. So I will make some, I have some water. I learned this when I was working in Iraq shops. You know, there's a lot to be learned from them. They're coming from a war zone. So let's see. I'll make three uh, chicken legs each. I doubt we're going to eat three. And then this is one thing you want to stockpile. And so I'm going to rinse my chicken off good with some salt water. You know, just enough to make the water salty. See this floating around up here? I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to be going through my life looking around for sources of contamination. Uh, you know, starting with the food um, I eat. Uh, one of the things uh, that has come up online, because you know I'm an online junkie, is fungus due to animals and sushi. You don't want to get fungus in your body because uh, it's very hard to get it out you know and um, also you know on your feet if you get fungus if you wash your feet good with um, soap and hot water and then uh, dry them and put them in um, mouthwash it takes a while to get rid of the fungus but you will get rid of it and then chemicals. Uh, I will go through my entire house and I put the chemicals in the furthest place possible. Under the sinks, under the sinks, everything. Hand soap, Windex, uh, cleaners, detergent, anything that's a, chem a chemical. Like right now I can look over here and I see dish soap and dishwasher soap out. Uh, another thing is smoke. Uh, you don't really want to be in, inhaling smoke. You know, one time I got very sick at a mass from a lot of smoke. And dust, you know, dust can harbor microbes. Um, another thing you want to stockpile is bleach. You know, that is very important to have. Um, soap, you know, bath soap. Uh, a guy told me uh, when he was homeless, uh, one of the best things he got was a bar of soap. But, you know, if I was a homeless person, I'd just go into a public bathroom and, you know. But, you know, a bar of soap, and then they don't have socks a lot of times. So I'm going to be going through my, my uh, life, and I'm going to be um, looking around, checking around for sources of contamination I will rinse this chicken good in the salt water. I can already see some crud. And then I will rinse it. And what I will do is I will bake it. I will just dry the chicken off. I'll drizzle with oil. I'll sprinkle a lot of um, lemon pepper and bake 400. And so, okay, you guys, God bless you all.